Hi, and welcome back to Temple Baptist Church Online Devotion. I'm glad that you're with me today. Uh, yesterday was Easter, and with Easter, everything changed for the world. And over today and these next three sessions following today, um, I'm going to be talking about what changed with Easter. What changed with Easter? And I want you to take your Bible and open it up to Mark chapter 15. Today we're going to be looking at verse 37 and 38. Mark chapter 15, verse 37 and 38. And today I want you to see the first change. And that change was that the veil of the temple was no longer needed. The veil of the temple was no longer needed. You know the story of Jesus spending uh, that last supper with his disciples being betrayed by Judas and then going to the garden where he would pray and um, say to God the Father, not my will, but your will be done. You know that he was, um, that he was arrested, uh, that he was put on trial. Then later he was scourged by the soldiers. He was sped upon. He was bruised. He uh, was later nailed to the cross where he was crucified, having um, become the payment for men's sin. And so we find ourselves in this particular passage here in uh, Mark chapter 15, and we pick it up in verse 37. Jesus, it says in verse 37, cried out with a loud voice, and he breathed his last. Then the veil of the temple was torn in two from top to bottom. Now let's stop right there. So there Jesus was upon the cross. He breathed. He cried out. And then he died. And he died for the sins of the world. And at that very moment, when Jesus died, God ripped the veil that was in the temple from the top to the bottom, tearing it. And there's some significance to that. We see back over in Exodus chapter 26, if you want to write this down and turn over to it later, we see the, the veil that God had ordered them to put in the temple. It says, And you shall raise up the tabernacle according to its pattern, which you were shown on the mountain. You shall make a veil woven of blue, purple, and scarlet thread, and fine woven linen. It shall be woven with an artistic design of cherubim. You shall hang it upon the four pillars of acacia wood, overlaid with gold. Their hooks shall be gold upon four sockets of silver. And you shall hang the veil from the clasps. Then you shall bring the ark of the testimony in there behind the veil. The veil shall be a divider for you between the holy place and the most holy. And you shall put the mercy seat upon the ark of the testimony in the most holy. You see, the veil was part of God's plan for the temple. It was a divider. Outside of the veil... The priests could congregate and other holy and righteous men. But only once a year could the high priest go into the inner part, the most holy part, to take the sacrifice of men in so that they could offer that sacrifice for their sins before God. That veil was there. It was a divider. It separated a holy place on the outside from the most holy place that was on the inside. And with the sacrifice of Jesus, God had made it possible for mankind to come into his most holy presence by his ripping the veil from top to bottom. He was showing the world that the veil was no longer needed, that it was possible now to experience his complete mercy, that it would be possible for man to experience as well his full presence and his full glory. Things changed with the sacrifice of Jesus. Things changed at Easter. His sacrifice was for
for you and for all who would hear his name. The Bible tells us that there is only one name by which men can be saved, and it is the name of Jesus Christ. Salvation can no longer come by um, offering a sacrifice to God. That way has been done away with. Now, the only means of salvation is belief and faith in Jesus. I trust that you have put your faith in him, and I trust that you have begun to experience his full presence and his power, his glory in your own life. You know, at Temple Baptist Church, we want to help you grow in Christ. And if you don't have a church home, we invite you to come and join us here as we meet on Sunday morning at 8 a.m. or 10 a.m., Sunday evening at 6 p.m. or Wednesday night at 7 p.m. I trust that you'll come back for these next three sessions as we continue to look and see and understand what changed with Easter. God bless you, and I hope you have a wonderful day.